Hello friends, Tony here, welcome. So on the previous video we worked with the jobs, we sent an email through the job on the background when we create a new post. Uh, we used mailtrap.io for that. And as you can see, I have an empty mail right now. Also in this video I'm going to work with mailtrap, but what I'm going to do, I'm going to use, uh, I'm going to work with task scheduling. I'm going to send an email to the admin so let's imagine we have an admin and we need to send an email with the post count we have in our database and i'm going to send that every minute and how we can do that let's open the vs code and i'm going to open the terminal here and first i'm going to create the mail for that so let's say artisan make colon mail and let's name it uh, post count mail Let's use markdown, which is going to be inside the emails dot, and I'm going to name it post dash count this blade. Yeah, markdown like this. And now the mail created successfully. So let's open that post uh, count mail. We have the construct, the envelope. The envelope is going to be, I'm going to add the Laravel tutorial. So the name of the project, post count, like this. So the subject. Then we have a content, which is markdown is going to point in that post count blade file we have created here. But also we need the count and we can add this on the construct so when we call this uh, post count mail but also we can use here with which is an array and here we can add so for example I'm going to name that post uh, count and this is going to be equal with post model so I'm going to import that and we can call the static count method and this is going to return the count of all posts we have in our project. Okay, we have now this post count. So let's go to post count blade. And here I'm going to say Laravel tutorial post count. And the body of your message, I'm going to say you have and here I'm going to display the post count so you have 10 posts on your database I'm going to say let's remove this button and I think we are okay let's leave it like this now we created the mail but how we can use that let's go to Laravel documentation on the task scheduling we have here the introduction so defining schedules you may define all of your scheduled tasks in your applications routes slash console.php file okay and then here we have an example using the schedule facade also now, if you prefer to reserve your routes console.php file for command definitions only, you may use the with schedule method in your applications bootstrap slash app.php file to define your scheduled tasks. And I'm going to show you both ways also on the uh, console.php and also on the app.php. Okay, so let's start. Let's open first the routes. We have this console.php and let's start and work here first. So we are going to use the scheduled facade. Let's import that from uh, illuminate support facades schedule. And here I'm going to say colon colon call method. And let's use a callback. And here what we need to do, we need to send the mail. So let's say mail from a uh, illuminate support facades mail we're going to send that to the admin so let's say let's imagine we have an admin example email 
Okay, and then we say send. Here we pass a new instance of the post count mail. Okay, and then here we need to find how, uh, how often we need to call that, we need to run that. So we have methods here, every seconds, uh, every minute, I'm going to add that every minute. So let's change the every minute method. This is going to run every minute. Okay, now this is not going to work. We need to run on the terminal. If you remember on the previous video with the jobs, we run the PHP artisan queue work. With the schedule, we need to say schedule work. Schedule work. Hit enter and yeah now it's going to run every minute so let's see let's open the, the inbox we have empty inbox right now we have a hit pause as we can see it's running and now it's done if i come here yeah we have a new email so laravel tutorial post count you have eight posts on your database very good Let's go and let's change this every two minutes. Okay, because we have here also every two minutes or every three minutes. I'm going to say every two minutes. And I'm going to change that because I want to create a new post. So let's go and create a new post here. Let's use a fake filler. Choose the image. Let's say store a new one. So I'm going to create two posts. Okay, right now we have 10 posts. On this one we have, you have 8 posts on your database. Okay, let's wait and let's see now. Because we say every 2 minutes. If that is going to change from 8 to 10. Okay, as you can see running the callback. And now we have a new post. And yeah, you have 10 posts here. Good, let's go and stop this. Now I'm going to comment this one we have in our console.php, save, and then I'm going to move the logic on the app, uh, bootstrap app.php file. Okay, so we have the application configure here with routing, with middleware, with exceptions. But also we have with a schedule we have here. And as we can see, expecting a callback, passing here the schedule. So let's say function. Passing the schedule here, dollar sign, schedule and then we can use this dollar sign. Schedule call. On this call, we are going to add a call back. And here, we're going to send that mail. And we have to specify that I want uh, every minute. Not two minutes, but every minute. Okay. Now, yeah, we need to import the schedule here, but just keep in mind, not from the Illuminate support facades schedule, but Illuminate console scheduling schedule, like this. Then import the mail facade and the post count mail. Now we have that, we need to run again that uh, schedule work and just hit enter every minute we send that yeah every minute let's go and just try to create one more post for a minute store yeah now we have 11 and let's wait for a minute because this is going to run now okay so running the callback down 
let's see yeah you have now 11 posts on your database okay friends let's stop this and this is what i wanted to show you how we can work with the task scheduling the send uh, mail to the admin we're using a mail trap but let's imagine we have here uh, an admin and we need to send the post count every uh, minute or every hour or daily you can specify how often you want to run that schedule now if you like such a videos friends don't forget to subscribe to my channel like the video share with your friends all the best thank you very much